Ezekiel was a prophet. God chose him. Ezekiel spoke God's words. He lived during a tough time. The Israelites, God's people, were in exile. They were far from their home. They felt hopeless. God gave Ezekiel a powerful vision. He wanted to give his people hope. This vision was about dry bones. It was a message of hope, a message of restoration, a message of God's power. Ezekiel's words were powerful. They were memorable. They gave the Israelites hope, hope for a future, a future back in their homeland, a future with God's blessing. Imagine a valley, not a lush green valley, but a desolate barren wasteland. This valley was filled with dry bones, bones as far as the eye could see. It was a grim and eerie sight. The bones were scattered everywhere. Skulls with empty sockets stared up at the sky. Rib cages lay broken and decayed. The air was thick with the silence of death. Ezekiel stood in this valley. He felt overwhelmed by the sheer number of bones. It was a picture of utter desolation and despair, a symbol of the Israelites' shattered dreams. God spoke to Ezekiel. He told him to prophesy, to speak to the dry bones. Ezekiel had to tell the bones to live again. This seemed impossible, but Ezekiel obeyed. As Ezekiel spoke, a strange thing happened. The bones began to move. They rattled and shook. They came together, bone to bone. Sinews and flesh appeared. Skin covered their bodies. The valley was no longer silent. It was filled with the sound of bones connecting, of bodies taking shape. It was a miraculous transformation, a testament to God's power over life and death. The bodies were formed, but they were still lifeless. They lay in the valley like a vast army of the dead. God then told Ezekiel to prophesy again. This time, he was to call upon the wind. Ezekiel called out to the four winds. He asked for the breath of life to enter the bodies. As he spoke, a mighty wind swept through the valley. It breathed life into the dead. The bodies twitched, then they gasped for air. Their eyes opened, they stood up. A vast army stood where moments before there had been only death. God's power was undeniable. Section 5, Hope Awakens, A Promise of Restoration. The valley was now teeming with life. The once dead army stood as a testament to God's power. This was no ordinary army. These were the Israelites, God's chosen people. God told Ezekiel that the dry bones represented the Israelites. They felt hopeless in exile like they were beyond saving but God had not forgotten them. The vision of the dry bones was a message of hope. It was a promise of restoration. God would bring his people back to life. He would bring them back to their land. Section six, beyond the vision, a message for all time. The vision of the Valley of Dry Bones was powerful. It gave the Israelites hope, but it's also a message for us today. It reminds us that God can bring life to dead things. We all face dry bones in our lives, times when we feel hopeless, times when we feel like giving up, but God can breathe new life into our situations. He can take our brokenness and make us whole. He can take our failures and turn them into victories. He can take our despair and turn it into hope. Section seven, relevance today, finding hope in hopelessness. The story of the dry bones is as relevant today as it was then. This ancient narrative found in the book of Ezekiel speaks to the timeless human condition. It tells of a vision where a valley filled with dry bones is brought back to life through the breath of God. This powerful imagery serves as a metaphor for renewal and restoration. We live in a world filled with its own valleys of dry bones. These are not just physical places but emotional and spiritual landscapes where hope seems lost. In our modern lives, we encounter numerous challenges that can leave us feeling desolate and empty. We see war, poverty, and disease. These global issues create a sense of collective despair, affecting millions of lives. The images of war-torn cities and refugee camps are stark reminders of the suffering that exists in our world. Children growing up in poverty-stricken areas and crowded hospitals filled with the sick and dying paint a grim picture of our current reality. We face personal struggles, grief, and despair. On a more personal level, many of us deal with our own battles. Whether it's the loss of a loved one, the stress of daily life, or the feeling of being overwhelmed by circumstances beyond our control, these moments can make us feel as though we are in our own valley of dry bones. But just as God promised to restore the Israelites, he offers us the same hope. The promise of restoration is not confined to ancient times, it is a living promise that extends to us today. 
The sunrise over mountains and the bright light breaking through clouds symbolize the dawn of new beginnings and the breaking of a new day. No matter how dire our circumstances, God is able to breathe new life into seemingly hopeless situations. Just as the dry bones in Ezekiel's vision were brought back to life, our own lives can be rejuvenated. The act of taking a deep breath, the sight of flowers blooming, and a dry plant coming back to life are all symbols of this miraculous transformation. He can heal our broken hearts, restore our shattered dreams, and give us the strength to overcome our challenges. The process of healing and restoration is deeply personal and transformative. A heart made whole, someone smiling through tears and people embracing are powerful images that capture the essence of this renewal. The Valley of Dry Bones reminds us that even in the darkest of times God is with us, offering hope and restoration. This story serves as a beacon of hope, encouraging us to trust in the promise of renewal. The sunset over a valley, a person looking up at the sky in contemplation, and a close-up of hands holding on to each other are poignant reminders that we are never alone in our struggles. The Power of Faith, Believing in the Impossible Ezekiel's story highlights the power of faith. God asked him to do something that seemed impossible, to speak life into dry bones. Yet Ezekiel obeyed, trusting in God's power, not his own understanding. His faith was rewarded. When we face our own dry bones, we too are called to exercise faith. We may not understand God's plan, but we can trust in his goodness and power. The Valley of Dry Bones teaches us that with God, nothing is impossible. When we place our faith in Him, even the most hopeless situations can be transformed by His love and power. From dry bones to new life, a journey of transformation. This journey is not just a physical one, but a deeply spiritual and emotional metamorphosis that touches the very core of our being. The transformation of the dry bones is a powerful metaphor for spiritual renewal. These bones, once lifeless and forgotten, symbolize the parts of our lives that feel dead and hopeless. Yet, there is a promise of renewal, a promise that even the most desolate parts of our existence can be revived. Just as the bones were brought back to life, God desires to breathe new life into our souls. The breath of God like a gentle breeze can sweep through the barren landscapes of our hearts, bringing with it the promise of new beginnings and fresh starts. We may feel dry and lifeless because of sin, doubt, or pain. These feelings can leave us wandering in a spiritual desert feeling isolated and alone. But this desolation is not the end of our story, but God longs to forgive us, restore our relationship with Him, and fill us with His Spirit. In our moments of prayer and surrender we open ourselves to His healing touch, allowing His grace to wash over us and renew our weary souls. This journey of transformation begins when we acknowledge our need for God and surrender our lives to Him. It is in this act of surrender that we find true freedom and the beginning of our spiritual renewal. As we allow His love and grace to work in us, we experience a rebirth, a resurrection of our spirits. This transformation is like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon, a beautiful and miraculous process that brings forth new life and vibrant hope. Our once dry and barren lives become lush and full of promise, a testament to the power of God's transformative love. Ezekiel's Legacy, a Testament to God's Power Ezekiel's vision continues to inspire hope and faith centuries later. His story reminds us that God is a God of miracles. He is not limited by our understanding or by seemingly impossible circumstances. The Valley of Dry Bones is a testament to God's unwavering love for His people. He is always working to redeem and restore, even when we feel lost and alone. Ezekiel's legacy is a call to trust in God's promises, to believe in His power, and to never lose hope, even in the face of overwhelming challenges. Conclusion The Enduring Message of Hope The story of Ezekiel and the Valley of Dry Bones offers a message that echoes through time. There is always hope, even in the direst of circumstances, in the midst of desolation and despair, when everything seems lost and lifeless, the vision given to Ezekiel serves as a powerful reminder that hope is never truly gone. It is a beacon of light that can pierce through the darkest of times. God is a God of resurrection and renewal. He has the power to bring back to life what was once dead, to restore what was once broken. His ability to breathe new life into the dry bones of our lives is a testament to His boundless grace and mercy. When we face our own dry bones, when we feel hopeless and lost, remember Ezekiel's vision. 
It is in these moments of profound despair that we must hold on to the promise of renewal. Just as Ezekiel witnessed the transformation of the dry bones into a living army, we too can experience a revival in our own lives. Remember that God can breathe life into dead things. His breath, His Spirit, can bring about a miraculous change. The winds of His grace can sweep through the barren landscapes of our hearts, bringing forth new life and new hope. He can restore what is broken, no matter how shattered our lives may seem, no matter how irreparable the damage appears, God's power to heal and restore is limitless. He can take the fragments of our brokenness and piece them back together, creating something even more beautiful than before. He can make all things new. In the midst of our ruins, new life can spring forth. The desolate places of our lives can become gardens of hope and renewal. With God, nothing is beyond redemption. Place your trust in Him. Believe in His promises. Trust that He is at work, even when you cannot see it. His plans for you are good, and His love for you is unending. And never give up hope, for hope is the anchor of the soul, steadfast and sure. It is the light that guides us through the darkest nights and the stormiest seas. For even in the valley of dry bones, God is at work, bringing forth life and beauty from the ashes of despair. His power to transform and renew is always present, always available. So hold on to hope, for it is the enduring message that carries us through all of life's trials and tribulations.